Check. Yeah, chapter seven. Yeah. So when we bust that cheater guy who was cheating on his wife, I think he was a member of Apodia. It was really interesting in terms he of was, like, he wasn't. She was. She was a member of Apodia, but he wasn't. He was just her husband going husband, on like okay. a life. Yeah. Okay. But that that was really interesting because that's the first time I think without Diamond we get to make some important choices that would determine whether we. Uh, you know, catch that person or not? Hey, Eric. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. I'm I'm sorry for you know the mess up. I just totally forgot because it was in the weekend that the clocks moved backwards for one hour. I, I was again. <laughs> it's okay. Time zones are hard. Time zones are a nightmare. The Sweden major that's starting this week starts at eight a.m. for me. I have to get up so early just to watch it. Honest to God. I know. I know it, it's it's a mess up. You know, I've been dealing with this since last year, and I had to take some classes at twelve that I took online because a guy was in Sweden. He literally did it at eight p.m. and that was for like eleven thirty for me. But prior to that, like the day before, I you know the clocks moved back. It was ten thirty, and the day after it's eleven thirty. I was like, wow, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, so I'm just, I'm just waking up because I, I thought you said nine, you said nine Eastern. I was like, oh, I got like thirty minutes. I checked my phone and had messages oh, from you and Brandon. I was like, oh, apparently wrong. I got, I had the wrong time or time zones are hard. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm awake now. Okay. I'm semi work still. <laughs> yep. Thanks for coming. Yeah. So I think last week for the internet issue, it didn't complete for what we were here to begin with. In the, you know, we didn't do that. So the Nanny Affair, book twenty, and um, no, no, nah, no, nah, chapter twenty, <laughs> book, <laughs> book the finale. No. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a book twenty, but uh, we're not that, we're not at that point yet. Please, please, Easy not tagger. a book twenty. Hey, <laughs> book twenty. I don't think we need twenty books in the Nanny Affair. We do need twenty books. We do need twenty books. Oh. And some. <laughs> And we will get. I will we, assemble the Narnia fell of us, and I will make a petition for twenty books. I don't think anybody wants twenty books. I mean, come on. I mean, if it's yeah. asking for book three, it was asking for book three. Brandon will get to know Sam in more detail. I do. I like that. It's not just Sam, but in general, I I love learning about characters, and it's like one thing I really want them to add. Is like maybe a law section where you can actually look into the stories in more depth and the characters in more depth. Because like Sam, she's got a lot of hidden backstory to her, like Addison, you know, appearing out of the out of the dead, but something happened to her. It's like I want to explore more law into the characters themselves, like the law about maybe Jenny, the law about the Daltons. I want to be able to look into all of them in more detail. And Sophia, like I think Sophia would definitely be interesting. I think. Yeah, I know. One thing I like about the new books is just it offers new ways to see the characters, maybe an opportunity of more backstory. But I think that that would be really beneficial if they added some sort of section about law. Hmm. I know. You know like, sometimes we, like in distant shores, it happened. Like we didn't really learn about the backstories. I think there were backstories. Even in foreign affairs, there were huge backstories for Blaine, Aina, and Tatum, but we didn't really learn it. So you feel like something is not complete, like that feeling like a sh a, that you have after reading a short story. So yeah, I totally agree with that. Like sometimes the backstories are too important. Yeah, I think it'd just be interesting to, to learn about a new character and different depths mm -hmm. and just like learn about who they are, where they've come from, what's happened, etc., etc. et cetera. Yeah. I mean, it's like, there's going to be a lot going on in book three, so... But as there's no else, like what else Sam can do? I mean, she's already yeah. determined to do to start a new company, so that's I'm just gonna feel good. I'm just playing book three for the diamonds, so I'm playing give book three for diamonds. everything. Give me my diamonds. Actually, in all fairness, that's 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 one thing I can't even do a full diamond playthrough of any effect because there's one diamond scene I refuse to buy. Which one's that? The Jordan one in chapter oh. 18? 18? 18 or 19. Yeah, that was just a little bit of a tease that they sent to the people who don't like Sam. Yeah, I was like, nope. And I was like, I, and then I saw, I think it was Valkyrie on Twitter. It was like, the one scene I want by now, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I, I'm not the only one. Awesome. 
Yeah, I'm not. No, there's I'm not there, there, there's plenty of people that that love Sam. Like, there's a reason why it's getting a book three. It's a popular series. Yep. Sam's popular. There you can, yeah. I think it, book three it, genuinely yeah. could make the series better in terms of how they went with book one. Because book three, there's, there's, book two was a, just a, like a random spin off. There wasn't much to go by, yep. unlike book one. So I think book three, you know, book three got a bigger plot. We've got Addison, the ex wife, coming back into the fold. We don't know what's happened. We don't know why she's back now. What what happened then? You know what what's she going to try and do about Sam and the kids? Maybe she just proposed to us, and they're still officially legally married. You know, filed for divorce. What's going to happen? Sam wants to make a new company. There's all there's all sorts of actually interesting stuff to happen in book three, which I think if done right, like the you know like the writers did in the first book, take hints from that. I think it could be a I think it could be a good finisher for the actual series. I like book now. Book two, just everything that happened, nothing, nothing mattered at the end. Like the entire yeah. book, nothing that happened right. throughout book two matters. Like do you have the whole competition, and then Sam just quits. Exactly. You have Sam getting mad at the main character for taking the job, and then says, "Oh, without even having a conversation, saying I'm going to start my own business." You don't, you don't make a decision like that without talking to your significant yeah. other. You don't just quit your job and then say, I'm starting my own business. Like, there's no communication from Sam at all. Sam's a horrible communicator. I, I, think, it's inter- I don't think it's yeah. interesting that she wanted to make her own company to begin with. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I have think- no problem with wanting to make a company. But if I, if I quit my job today without telling my wife and said, I'm going to start a business, I would probably be divorced by tonight. <laughs> Ouch. Like, it's just not a decision you make without having a, a discussion with the person you supposedly love and want to marry. Hmm. Like I mean, Sam's horrible at communication. Like the whole PR stunt that they had at the start, and then Sam was like, "Well, I think you should quit. Uh, the, you you should quit working for Dalton Enterprises. You know, go take this. Go take one of these other random jobs that you're gonna hate." And Sam's horrible and greedy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, this is a trend we're seeing in choices. I wouldn't just pin on nanny affairs because you said like you said like is, you know, like things that don't have much uh, significance. Because if you remember in foreign affairs, we have a cliffhanger of a chapter that Blaine is talking about getting expelled, and two chapters later we learn it was nothing major. So like they're giving something that is not actually what it seems like. You go back to America's most eligible third book. We start the book with a, another flashback, like, you know, we were talking about last week. Like, the media is attacking our main character. Our marriage is, like, almost done for. And then we wake up from the dream. That happens uh, in six chapters later, but it was not in the amount it was shown earlier. So I think, uh, I don't know, like, it's a, it's like a, you know, a, a, it's, it's a, like a trend of choices. Like, they do what's, like, a speciality. But, yeah, it's happening. I would, I would say that. It's not what it seems like when they first show it. I guess I could agree with that in some cases, but uh, I mean, I guess it's just like you said. I guess it's just the current trend going on. I mean, hopefully things will start. You know, things might start changing with the new series coming out. I mean, we've had Wake the Dead, oh. uh, third chapter really? release this week. That book's really been spicing up pretty well, actually. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a little stream thing. With cat about wow. that, yeah, I think I think about setting some up with that, but uh, still figuring out how I want to do it. And then yeah. we've got surrender and crimes of passion. I've been uh, I've been trying to be careful with how I talk about Walk the Dead because I don't want to ruin it for a non VIP. Because I feel yeah. like that needs to be a book that people can yeah, be surprised I was, about. I was talking to cat about it, and I was like, um, I want to stream it. Obviously, I want to stream it. Um, uh, yeah, I usually stream it before VIP or if people don't have VIP. But of course, this book's going to be coming out. Like Kat said, she's even going to stream it probably roughly when it starts to come out of VIP, you know, like uh, on the actual release. Yeah, streaming's different because if you're streaming, that's people are making a choice whether they're going to go watch or not. So that's different. If if, if you choose to go watch it and you haven't played, that's on you. Mm. But like, I've been really careful with what, you know, what I post on twitter about it like usually when i play a chapter i'll you know i'll put out some jokes or if i like a chapter i'll put out comments about it and i haven't done that with walk the dead because i like i have jerry who 
doesn't have VIP and I don't want to ruin it for somebody like Jerry who, you know, they're, they're going through the timeline and like, oh no, I've seen a spoiler and I don't want to know that. Yeah, yeah. Cause it's like I've, I've uh-huh. seen on the first chapter, I saw a few things that were interesting and I was like, I want to like put this up and say, oh, this is, a, I like this, cause I like this feature they put in, but then it's like, oh yeah, because a lot of people won't know because it's VIP, so. I mean, just nice. the 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 end of chapter two was crazy, and I oh I, my I god, I can't talk about it right now. I know, I don't ruin it for it people. was it was oh my god, I can't believe they did that to us. <laughs> I'm kind of mad. I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of mad about that they did that. I I don't even. I I, I love I loved it because it really shows that anything can happen. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it was good aspects in showing and what can happen. I was not expecting it. Yeah, it was. It was. Oof, it was big. Have you read chapter three yet? Yeah, I'm. Ca- I'm fully caught up. I need to read chapter three. I, I also. I like that they're not rushing the romances. Like they're taking their time with with all all of them. Yeah, Shannon is not what I expected. I'll say that. Uh, like, yeah. like I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I just mean in the way of like how she is personality wise. Yeah, like right now I'm split between Eli and Shannon. I don't like Troy. Like I don't think I'll romance Troy at all. Oh no, I won't romance Troy. Eli, Troy, Troy I don't think so. Me. And um, then I haven't met the other. I can't remember what her name is. Yeah, there's one more coming. Angela, Angel. I don't think it is Angel. I think it's Angel. Yeah, I haven't met her yet, so I don't know. But I, I, I really like. Sh- oh, I really like Shannon. She's, she's an interesting character. Yeah, Shannon's the front runner who for who I'll romance so far. But Eli's not totally out yet. Just the only one that's totally out is Troy. He annoys me. Yeah, I think a lot of people are actually mad as well. That uh, I can't remember what his name is. The the guy who's got the Robin sprite, but like, kind of like you know, uh, yeah. budget <laughs> budget wise. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, he's an interesting character, but mm. and also the first chapter, the end, you know, the end of it when with what happened. Actually, was it the technical? Was it the end of the first chapter or the start of the second chapter that happened, where it's like proper going down? Can't remember. I'm trying to walk that line of not giving away anything. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> It's, it, it, th- there was something they did that was questionable, like, why would you do that? I think it's the end of chapter one. Yeah. Yeah, I was just like, why would you do that? I mean, the, the first two chapters, I know, like, there they are two chapters, but they kind of blend together as, like, one story. Mm. So it's hard to remember where things happened. I do like this new trend they're doing where on VIP releases, they bring out two chapters now instead of one. I feel it's more filling for the opening of a book. Well, they used to do well, that. They, they've book. done that before. They usually, yeah. whenever, whenever it's a brand new book, like not a sequel, they usually yeah. do two chapters together. Yes, I, it's, it's one of the first cases. Like, Shipwreck was the first case I've seen two chapters brought out. I had not just seen that much before. And Shipwreck, yeah, Shipwreck's annoying me now. It's I'm losing interest in it. I am so back on that. I've completely forgot. Excuse me. I've actually completely fallen off that for a moment. I need um, to catch up. I mean, it has moments that show like there is a story there. I just don't think that they're writing it very well and the spacing the spacing of the storylines aren't aren't done well. Like it's just I'm I'm just I'm bored by it now. <laughs> I think the plot's kind of gone off where it was going originally. But I mean, uh, I guess we'll see. And then, uh, and then uh, I can't, I can't, I'm excited for surrender and crimes of passion. That's one I don't think I've heard. I've not heard much people talking about, but it's one I'm excited for. Yeah, I don't know much about like... crimes of passion. Um, I'm I'm not interested in surrendered personally. But I'm interested in watching other oh. people play. Like Fishty's going to stream oh, it. Oh, Fishty playing! That's going to be amazing. I, I'm I'm excited about watching Fishty stream it. That's going to be. I, I don't know how she's going to get away with that. Honest to God, yeah, if she can get away with that, then I think we have to try and convince Cat to do some more explicit. The nanny affair. If she, the nanny. Queen B. The nanny affair. Queen B. Actually, no. Queen B. You could technically do. Just without the diamond scenes. I think you could just get away with it without the diamond scenes. Yep. No, 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 no. Even even if you don't take the diamond scene, and even if, we, if the main character around Poppy, 
dangerous. I, 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 can ju- I just want to hear Kat on stream, free Queen B and be like, on the chapter what is it, 14. Yeah. I, blah, blah. He was had a farm. Yeah, I, I eat my ass, Popper. <laughs> I just want to hear her read that. I just want to hear her read that. Oh, if she ever does do it and I'm not there, make sure you clip it. I swear to God, I will. In fact, I'm. In fact, actually, maybe I'll think about it. If Fishy gets to a surrender, I may do a Queen Bee stream. I may, if, and I will bring Cat on board to go through with it, and really I'll have her even voice act Poppy. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Cat's Poppy. Oh, by, by the way, uh, did you guys know that she did like the the there there was this like uh, taking down the the rap song in chapter three, like the the, the one that Zoe produced and. You know, yeah. uh, the diss track. Yeah, the cat did that. I mean, cat literally rapped that lines. Did she? Yeah, she did. It's on YouTube, and it was, it was super awesome. I mean, a lot of people were saying, "Wow, you should be a rapper." Because that really came out well. I, I kind of wish they actually brought an actual song out for that. Like they actually brought a soundtrack out for it, and they actually kind of made the song so people could actually kind of sing it themselves, but kind of like just say, it. "I think that about be pretty cool." But the diss, the diss track was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, that chapter was really cool. The this track was like really, it slapped. I mean, it it, it was really uh, making rhyme, and it was good. I was trying to when I was trying to say it in my head, I was trying to think. I was trying to think of the actual, you know, the beat going on, the tra- the kind of, you know, how to go about it. I, I couldn't really oh, get it, but right. it it was it was a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. It was a good one. It's good. One. Okay, so let's get back to track then. Chapter 20 of the Nanny Affair finale. How did you feel about it? So we were I, saying I think it was the most interesting chapter out of the entire book. Because hmm. it had actually and, a lot about it, plot-based. And I totally disagree. I thought it was horrible and a stupid ending. Yeah. Well, this was, it was the more, you have to admit, it was, more, it was more of a filled chapter than what we've had so far. With actual plot-based, based on the plot. But it, I'd have to, it, I'd have it to. ruins everything that, like, it makes it so that nothing in book two matters. Nothing, nothing. that you went through mattered exactly. because of Sam's decisions in the end. Truth be told, I don't think anything really mattered anywhere. Like, after, after chapter 10, it went completely off the rails. I don't think anything would have mattered after that point. I think, uh, personally, I mean, I agree with Eric here. Because uh, if you see what happened in book it just put everything, I've said it before, like everything that happened in book two, that, that just put whatever happened at the end of book one to like, uh, you know, meaningless. Because, you know, at the end of book one, you know, the, after the subway accident, Sam said that Sam will prioritize our main character, the love, the company isn't a priority. But then we, the, you know, she, uh, he, uh, Sam dumped Sophia and came to our main character. And then we come back to New York. The clock magically gets set back to the same place where we begin. You know, because I think that was the time when this decision Sam made at the end. The last four chapters, I mean, Jordan was brought up. That was not really, they didn't get the climax because the way they broke up and the, the way they got together and the way that Jordan came into that scene, it was like, uh, you know, you, you're just uh, telling a story to kid you don't want to tell, but you, you just, you know, make, you know, just uh, um, want them to fall asleep and you're just going through the story as fast as you can. That was like, went by fast. And then I think the, when, like, will you be mine, that Christmas tree scene, from there to chapter 20, you take these four chapters and you just erase the first 16 chapters and you put it at the end of chapter, book one, you get a complete book one and then whatever they're doing for book three, that should have been the book two. Because I think the book two, they kind of went on a detour. Now, now yeah, that's, book two is definitely a kind of detour, but definitely. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I, I feel like they knew what they wanted book three to be and they knew what they wanted book one to be. And they didn't really have a plan for book two. And it ends up that nothing, nothing really matters. Hmm. Jordan just disappears. Like I don't know if they'll come back in book three. I doubt it because yeah, it reminds me of um, bother with reminds... the Jordan storyline when you're gonna have the uh, the Addison storyline. Mm. It uh, it reminds me of um, have you guys ever seen the YouTube series Red vs Blue from Rooster Teeth? Yeah, uh, who again? Yeah, it reminds me of season fourteen of that. That season was just a complete off tangent after the trilogy. 
and it was just like I didn't really get it. I mean, there were some parts of it that were interesting, like chapters eight, nine, and ten. You saw the two mercenaries from the trilogy. You saw their backstories. That were it, and you saw some other backstories. But other than that, season fourteen was just a complete random tangent. And then they brought back season fifteen with a new storyline. So it was like it reminded me of that, to be honest. Yeah. But like you spend you spend all of book one with Sam being like, Oh, I can't quit the company, I can't quit the company, you know, it's my kid's legacy. And then exactly. you spend all of book two with Sam saying, You shouldn't work for the company at first, go get a go get another random job somewhere else. Uh, Sam a lot of times Sam ignores what the MC wants. And at the end, it just gets funny, Sam's like, Oh, I just I quit, I start I'm gonna start my own business. Out of nowhere. A, also, I think uh, what happened in book two is is not a failure. In, in, um, you know, if you look at, I think why they did a book in the first place and why they did uh, the whole thing uh, as they did. I think you know, in book one, a lot of people. Sp- I mean, I don't think when book one came out, VIP was accessible at that time, but people still bought diamonds. People still bought like keys. They spent their money to to spend time with Sam. I mean. Literally, all the dimensions they took. I mean, uh, the people who like Sam, they didn't even let go of one single dimension. So I think they just wanted to give every, like, uh, you know, like wanted to make it even bigger, grand, you know, way more grand. So they just added more Sam scenes and the plot kind of got pushed back. And I think it, it was also successful because, you know, like after Ethan Ramsey, there is Sam, like, who's like so popular in the fandom. And you know, so people just went after Sam. And one thing you will see, like what happened when I liked America's Most Eligible, and even I was not content with book three books. So if that many people are liking a book, and they just would go along with, like if they they're getting what they like primarily, like the Sam scenes, and they're getting that, so they will go on board. They kept playing it even the plot was not quite in place not like foreign affairs so that didn't get a book two because it was not popular but as it was a popular now they're pushing it for a book three so i think it's just a good business-wise money maker so i think uh, that's why they did it and i think it could happen in book three too as well because it, it's just you know it's good for them because people are literally buying diamonds to spend time with sam i just grind them it's not too hard to be honest no, it's yeah, it's definitely a popular series. I mean, for me, I I, per, I actually liked the the Sophia stuff more than anything else. And Sophia, I'm actually kind of, I kind of, I want to see her. It's like I want to see her character again, not just her sprite, but her character again somewhere else. She's such an intriguing character. I want to see her again. And it's like a cat, but I would at least like to see her her rough character in another story. You know the hard he- the hard headed businesswoman. You know, not worried about what happens to the people and such. You know, doing what you know, what is you know what's for her benefit and such. I think she's an intriguing character for that for that point. Yeah, I agree. And I have no clue what they're gonna do with the with the Addison stuff because I mean they make it seem like Addison's married to to your partner in in the. Uh, Plastics division. Are they <sighs> yeah, I mean, they make officially it like that she's married to him. So, so she faked her death and then married somebody else. So, is she still going by Addison? Did she change her name? Like, I just don't you know, know what what they're gonna try. Like, is she gonna fight for custody? And if that, so, that seems to be the thing, the main ballpark everybody's going for that she's gonna fight for custody. But it's like, <laughs> what right judged my what might what judge in their right mind would give a mother custody of the kids who faked her death for years Married just because probably, yeah it's, yeah or for or just because she wasn't feeling good enough she abandoned her kids regardless there's no way in hell any court would give her custody of the kids and, Period. And, and, and you can't make it she has no argument to say that sam's a bad parent that's about the one thing sam is she, she's a good parent i'll give her that she, she's a pretty yeah. good parent you know, she she makes yeah. time for the she makes time for the kids. Sure. Um, you know, at the end of the day, one thing is she cares about her kids. She didn't fake her death to you know be away from them. So it's like if she ever thinks about fighting for custody, I don't see how they can make a storyline on that. Other than 
she takes it to Scott and she gets immediately shut down. No, no, they're definitely going to drag it out. It's, I mean, it's going to be the same thing like in Mother of the Year. Like, it's a good book, but Guy having any chance at custody made no sense. I mean, any uh, judge is going to just make him pay child support. Yeah, you disappear. You don't disappear for years and then be like, "Oh, I want to, I want to, I want." I've missed you. I want you back. Yeah. I mean, uh, if this is going to be about custody, then uh, I don't think how they're, like you said, how they're going to go about it. Because I think instead of making this about just the custody, but if they make it something like, you know, MC's part, like getting, like MC being threatened, because, you know, if someone's wife or some comes back and they thought they're dead, now they're alive. Now, Sam clearly loved Addison, you know, it, it was not like after a breakup, if someone shows up, that's like they ended something with that particular character. But with Addison, Sam loved Addison, Addison died, and then just said that with time happened, you know, it got healed as much as good. But Sam still loves Addison. That's a fact, you know. And now Addison, come, that would change a lot of things. So if they push at that thing, you know, the relationship, like how it's, it becomes a knot, you know, how difficult it becomes with the boys, Sam, Addison, and what, you know, conspiracies are there, and then proving that Addison was the bad person at, at the end. Like, if they go about this, other than going about the custody, then I think it would be more intriguing and a proper slow burn again could be there, what we had in book one and why it was so popular. Yeah, I, I suppose it, it could be seen from that perspective. Again, it's just going to be a case of how everything, you know, everything, everything comes out. I mean, um, there are there are there are quite a few aspects. Yeah, to like it, so. I really, I really hope they played more about Addison wanting her whole life, her old life back, rather than a custody battle. Because I don't think a custody ba battle will make sense in any. way. I would much rather have for them, a prolonged. I, I would much rather hear a case of sod off. You're not having your old life back. You had that chance, you blew it. Personally, that's that's what she deserves. You can't you can't expect to come back into your old life and just ex expect it back on, you know, silver platter. No, because it's been it's been years. No explanation, no nothing. And you just want you just want a welcome back. But again, like the MC knows nothing about about Addison. You're about to marry Sam, and you know nothing about their past, really. Yeah. Like there's no communication there at all. And I mean, and maybe it's in a premium scene that I just didn't take. No, but, no, you know, there's, 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 none. there's, there's none. none. Like in my mind, like you, like you don't even recognize this woman when you see her in the ice cream shop in the in the earlier chapter. You should be able to know what what your future hu husband or wife depending on which gender of choice you chose for sam mm -hmm. um you should you you should be able to know what their ex what their dead ex-wife looks like yeah I think correct me if i'm if i'm wrong in chapter one we when we enter sam's apartment we did see a picture of sam skydiving with someone and we yeah, asked like they, who is that those, the helmets they had on would have made it uh, not exactly okay. a particularly simple to see yeah. plus the hair I just, hair's all covered in and so so i just find it unrealistic that you do, that's the only picture of addison that you see it yeah, in exactly. two books exactly. not to mention not technically none of us would have known what addison looked like or who she was if it weren't for the spoiler i don't think yeah, but Cause once everyone saw that spoiler, everyone knew. But I th but when you think about it, we none of us would have known. Actually, no, but I think people would have sussed it out. But I, people I, just knew instantly. I think I would have been able to to guess that it, that's who it was going to be. Just I think they would have based on knowledge of what choices likes to do with their books. I would have said as well based on the fact that it changes. I like how she changes based on your choice of Sam as well. I kind of like that aspect. That was an interesting aspect they added in. Yeah, otherwise the kids won't be of the same race. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. So you got the, the Latina, Caucasian, and then the African American. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do like that. You know, it's, 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 it's definitely interesting. And I'm just, I'm just curious. It's like, 
I'd say that for the first two chapters of book three, book one will have to leave off where it goes. Um, you know, the the part is a bit of drama, yada yada yada. Maybe go back to the office, discuss this. Then chapter two, force Sam down and just get all the info. Like maybe chapter two or chapter one, but a lot as long as it's in the introduction of book three, like we get a full, you know, huge data mine of everything. You know, find yeah, out like, everything straight. I I feel like they're not even married yet, and they already need couples therapy. Oh god, I, I guarantee that's going to be a thing in book three. Because <laughs> yeah, Sam needs to learn how to communicate. Because Sam is a horrible communicator. I don't care what anybody says. Sam does not know how to how to talk to to other people outside of like sexy talk. <laughs> well, there's, there's something to be said for beauty over ruins. Like there's just there's no in depth conversations that that you have with Sam. Yeah. Plus, uh, fire emoji, desire. Yeah, it, it, the, the entire relationship is just based on lust. There's no real, there, you don't have any real conversations with them. Yeah, I agree. Like, is there any premium scenes where they just talk? Everything's either a sex scene or time spending time with the kids. None that I yeah, remember. If, you can't lie, spending time, spending time with the kids is nice, although it shouldn't always be premium scenes. Not together. I mean, we spend the time, but it, it happens like, uh, you know, the kids are back and we're just making out anyways. I mean, uh, the five, like three minutes with the kids and rest seven yeah, minutes. With most of the, the kids scenes turn into a hookup scene as well. So, yeah. Not hookup, but yeah, intimate. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I agree with that. And book one, I think we had some scenes with the kids, but not with Sam, but alone. And then, uh, you know, but book two was like way off. Like, it didn't even match book one. I mean, at this point, the kids are just treated like pets. Yeah. It was it was something like, very hard to like uh, digest. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, book three, they you know make a better work of it. I'll be waiting for it. But but I don't I don't think you know they're too worried about book two. Or I I don't think they're even a little bit worried because it has good reviews. People again spent a lot of diamonds. And it was a money maker for them, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, uh, book three—they're not gonna—they're not gonna change—they're not gonna really change anything. Because the people who.